1943, 401 West 118th Street in Morningside Heights, headquarters of the Statistics Research Group. A team of statisticians work in the fight against the Axis powers in World War II. Abraham Wald, alias the Wald Eagle. Norbert Wiener, alias the Hot Dog. Jack Wolfowitz, alias Little Red Riding Hood. Frederick Mosteller, alias the Mosteller. Leonard Savage, alias the Cougar. Yeah, we thought he'd go by Leopard, too. This elite supergroup of statisticians was tasked with solving some of the military's most pressing challenges. One such challenge was deciding how best to armor naval bombers that were taking heavy losses in bombing raids over Germany. Armor would protect the planes, but it was both expensive and heavy. Thus, it was critical to put the armor only where it was needed most. To identify the best locations for armor placement, our STATS supergroup began to investigate the available data. They were supplied with the locations of bullet holes on the bombers returning from bombing raids. Their data looked like this. The military commanders, analyzing the pattern, immediately concluded that more armor should be placed on the wings, fuselage, and tail sections of the plane. However, our statistical hero, Wald Eagle, noted a flaw in the commander's thinking. The observed bullet patterns were only from the planes that returned home from the bombing raids. Those being hit in the engines and cockpits were not returning home. Thus, Wald Eagle reasoned, it was exactly where the bullet holes were not that the armor should be placed. Wald's suggestions were implemented, leading to countless lives being saved. Well, more people probably died on the other side, but we can call it a wash on balance. Anyway, his methodology for selecting armor locations was used for decades after World War II, including the Vietnam and Korean Wars. It remains an exemplar of rigorous statistical thinking to this day.